Are we pulling or are we dancing? What's up? It's Jimfo from MediCheck Pull, and this is our official boss guide for normal and heroic Council of Blood. This guide is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. They get early access to these guides before anyone else, so if you want early access too, check out the Patreon link below. Alright, the Council of Blood is a heavily dance-themed encounter. The general idea of the fight is that you have to kill the three members of the council, but you can only kill one of them at a time because each of their deaths full heals and empowers the remaining members. You get to choose your own kill order though based on which members you want to get rid of and which empowered abilities you prefer to deal with. It's 100% possible to kill this boss with any kill order, but we think that there's one kill order that's a little better so we'll focus on that one. Long story short, you kill Baroness Frida first, then Castellan to Klaus, then Lord Stavros. So on pull, tank the bosses together with Stavros slightly away from the other two, and start attacking Frida. It's super important that your raid understands that this is a single target fight, and everyone should build their character that way. All other boss damage is pretty irrelevant, so make sure you're focusing down the main target. The tanks need to taunt swap on the Klaus and Stavros because they both apply a stacking debuff that increases the damage taken from each of their tank abilities. Niklaus's ability is simple, it just hits the tank for a little bit of physical damage, but Stavros' ability is a little weird. He teleports behind the tank and then charges through them, hitting anyone in a 20 yard line in front of the tank. So the tank with Stavros should aim the charge away from everyone else. This is also why you should generally keep Stavros slightly away from the other two bosses. You'll frequently need to interrupt Frida's Dreadbolt Volley Cast. If the cast goes off, it does damage to the entire raid and applies a dispellable dot to the entire raid. This dot stacks too, so continually interrupting the cast is a big deal, and it's one of the main reasons Frida should be killed first. She also occasionally channels Drain Essence on a few random players. This just does ticking damage, but these players need to be focused healed. Niklaus will occasionally summon an ad that protects the council member with the lowest health, making them immune to all damage, so everyone will need to focus this ad down every time it spawns in order to keep doing damage to Frida. And Stavros will occasionally pair several random players together with Dark Recital. These players will need to find their partner, stack with them, and move away from the rest of the raid. You take a ton of damage when you aren't close enough to your partner, and Red Swirly spawn under the paired player's feet which do even more damage, so everyone will need to dodge these swirlies while the paired players are running around together. When Frida gets to 50% health, all of the bosses retreat and it's time for the dance. Everyone will need to quickly run to their indicated place in the room and then move in the same directions that these little servants move. Moving correctly gives you a stacking haste buff, while moving incorrectly causes you to take damage and lose your haste buff. After a few movements, the dance will end, the bosses will return, and the players who did the entire dance correctly will have a nice little haste buff for a few seconds to get right back into Nuke and Frida. By this point, a passive dot debuff that has been slowly stacking on the raid will have gained several stacks, so healers may find the need to use cooldowns in this sub 50% phase. When Frida dies, that debuff resets and then it's time to switch to attacking the Klaus. Now you don't have to worry about constantly interrupting Frida anymore. The tanks are still taunt swapping on the Klaus and Stavros while everyone is killing the shield ad when it spawns and moving for Dark Recital, but now both bosses each gain a new ability. The Klaus occasionally spawns a few little servant ads around the room that do damage to random players. Try to bring these in closer to the bosses to cleave them down. And Stavros occasionally spawns these untargetable dancers that slide around the room and stun anyone they come into contact with. They spawn in these square patterns and only move within their square so the entire raid could move to a different section of the room to completely nullify this mechanic. When the Klaus gets to 50%, you'll have to do the dance again. Then you come back to finish him off. We recommend using Bloodlust here after the dance because this is likely the hardest part of the fight, but you can pretty much use Lust whenever you want in this fight. Once the Klaus is dead, you finally switch to Stavros. Now the tanks only have to taunt swap on Stavros and neither the shield ad or the servant ads will spawn anymore. But now Stavros gains his final ability which spawns more dancers around the room that occasionally explode around themselves. Just stay out of all their explosions. On Heroic, Stavros also gains an aura that applies a stacking slow to players while they're moving. The slow stacks up quickly, but standing still for long enough makes the stacks drop, so just make sure to only move when you need to. Melee would need to be especially careful to avoid Stavros' charge now that they're attacking him. The frontal happens in the direction that the tank is facing, so you need to stand on either side of the boss and you should be fine. When Stavros gets to 50%, you have to do the dance one last time, and then you come back to kill him to finish the fight. Alright, so quick recap. Kill Baroness Frida, then Castellan the Klaus, then Lord Stavros. Throughout the fight, taunt swap on Stavros and the Klaus and tank Stavros slightly away. Interrupt every cast of Frida's Dreadbolt Volley. Quickly kill the ad that shields the bosses. When you get the Dark Recital debuff, stack with your partner and keep moving away from the raid. 
At 50% health of each boss, get to your indicated dancing spot and copy the movement of the NPC servants. After Frida dies, bring the servant ads toward the bosses and cleave them down. Dodge the dancers that slide around in a square pattern. After Niklaus dies, dodge Stavros' charge by not standing behind him. Avoid the explosions from the dancers. And that's pretty much it. If you like this guide, support us on Patreon. We have a goal of reaching 100 patrons by the end of the tier so that we can do this again for next tier and keep making all kinds of other guides too. Thank you so much to all the patrons who already support us. We honestly can't thank you enough. Also, you can find our written version of these guides on Icy Veins, link below. Like, subscribe, and join our Discord to keep up with everything Ready Check Pull. Peace.